Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to this Bastion Let's Play on iPad. Today we try to tackle Mount Zand, and hopefully don't die like at Culford Cauldron, because you know, volcanoes. Not much left of Mount Zand nowadays. It's like a cross between a zoo and a prison break. Well, that's wonderful. So the shard here is held inside the remains of a holy mountain, once filled with flora and fauna. And I am currently equipped with my breaker's bow and dueling pistols. And the trapper snare. Can't Don't forget that. Call Mount Zan a mountain anymore. Yeah, it looks like it might have uh, lost some weight. There's no more mountains now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. I'm not dodging very well. Hmm. Good thing for those beasts the calamity saved leftovers. All right. We only found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. Right. Dueling pistols. to do one damage at a time. Do it fast. Or six. Oh. Hmm. Nope. Well, that worked. The creatures of the wild, they've been building a bastion of their own. Oh, why do we have to wreck it? Hmm. Right about that, Rux. Yoink. All right, I gotta use this snare at some point. I don't think it'll work on stationary enemies. Okay. Another skill the best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down quick and clean. Don't worry, folks. There's reasons for this. Okay. Also, I don't think the idols turned back on after my death. Hmm. So I will have to go back and check those. With a mortar. Boop. You can control when it fires by pressing the shield. Boop. It's a delicate situation. Falling right there was pretty much the only way to get that. The magnetism wasn't going all the way. Okay, and we can switch if we want. Hmm. Nice. Because yeah, the galleon mortar, it does make you a stationary target. If there are a lot of little enemies, you're dead. Period. So we, much as I love my beautiful, beautiful Breaker's Bow, we need more speed sometimes. Okay. What the city left behind, those beasts took for themselves. And yeah, in order. All right, and every time you just stop, it'll just automatically start firing. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. I am wrong. You need a target. Takes a lot of convincing, and our mortars have to do the talking. Yep. Okay, we're good. Those just explode after you defeat them, regardless. This way. It's either them or us. But if we win. Just ours. 
Yep. Foreshadowing. Anyway, let's break through here. I honestly cannot remember if uh, there is friendly fire with this galleon, so let's test it. Oh, of course. Too late. There's no explaining that to a simple beast. Those beasts have been hard at work fixing up the place. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd call them simple, considering how much they've done here. Hmm. More mortars. Okay. And I fell. I thought that was a rope bridge. I am wrong. Don't do that. They've been searching <laughs> for cores and shards, just like we have. Let's get out of range. We're faster than that swamp gas, so we're going to go this way until it dissipates. Aha. And now, eat this, pin cushions. You did it. And hopefully I won't die. Okay. I'm trying to block so I don't die. And it is much faster than the mortar. So yeah. Damage. Stay behind the barricade. Okay. Just in time there. Maybe they've thought about turning back. Just like we have. Okay, that gas is still there. Hmm. Let's test it. No, more. Try. Try. Now it has a set distance, so I don't know if friendly fire is really possible with it. Hmm. Ah, I thought I countered. Oh, well. We'll just take care of it. We just really need their shards. That's right, Rux. We do. Leave a snow. Uh, yeah, this is where Dual Decider would have been great. <laughs> yeah, two bosses, a bunch of stuff. Getting rid of bosses is nice. The damage from the mortar, though, you have to admit, is pretty good. Am I pretty good? I'm not sure if anything can really beat it in terms of damage. And one shot, of course. Well, tried blocking most of it. Didn't quite work. Alright. Man, pincushion. Okay. Dueling pistols down. That's the way. All right. So I didn't get to show off the snare yet. He's done what's best for him. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Rex, you're making me a little worried there. Hmm. It's looking good. Alright, let's upgrade this. Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Okay, so we got two new ones. Messia. So we have Messia and Garmith. So, Garmith. Foes shall deflect attacks on a whim. Despite his lack of senses, the crippled duke gives counsel to the humble and the wise. And Mycia, goddess of loss and longing, foes shall regenerate from any injury. Which is pretty brutal. <laughs> the Lord Mother gave away her heart and bears the star of Zalandia in its stead. So, yeah. Life is much tougher with all of these activated. Might as well try it out, though. I will probably die at least once. Hey, I found a fine... Yeah, yeah, gramophone. There we go. Okay, so we found this on Mount Zand. 
Do you know how to use something like this? Thought you might like it, see ya. Fix that thing right up, didn't we? Maybe it's going down right there. No. I'm guessing Rux is the one that fixed it. Is it alright if we use this here? It's not like the neighbors are going to complain. Okay, now we have to play the gramophone. Oh yeah. So now we can change the music. Mm -mm -mm. All right, anything else we want from here? We still need to show off the trapper snare. Hmm. Let's get our pistols and bow back. Okay. And that music stayed around? Excellent. Hmm. Anything else to do here? We could buy a lot of stuff. But for now, let's check out these other vigils. Let's see. The Conscience. Earn experience from trials and tribulations. Gain enough XP to reach level 5. The Conscience. We haven't lost everything. So true, Rex. So true. Okay. Discover the lost mementos. Gain the required number of mementos strewn across the countryside. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. Okay. Well, now that we've got that, we can get a new distilled liquor thing. Yep. Yep. That made sense. Uh, do I have it? I do not. Okay, so this not only gives us another chance to carry on if defeated, we also damage surrounding foes if defeated. It's an aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost wake the dead. Hint, hint. And with four idols active, I will probably need it. Especially since I'm probably going to be carting around more stuff that isn't fully upgraded. Quarry's gotta have one, right? Hmm. Any new proving grounds? Where's our mortar proving ground? There you are. The Boundless Bay. This is a proving ground for the skippers. The skippers in the Salambian Armada learned their trade in relative safety here. Boundless Bay used to be a weapons test and dry dock. Ain't never been this dry, though. Dang. Let's go. Ceylandia's armada was a glorious sight, and our ship's mortars were unstoppable. At Boundless Bay, our navy put those mortars to a rigorous inspection. Which apparently is kill 100 squirts. Goodbye, squirts. Had to use squirts to simulate explosive impact on the surface of the sea. Choosing targets for those mortars was one of the trickiest parts. And we completed a vigil. Hmm. Oh, they moved. Alright, so I think getting close will help you shoot faster. And when they move around, it gives you more time to probably hit. Oh man, I missed one. One squirt. Okay. I'm guessing 30 seconds for first? Hmm. Let's find it. Yep. We got something burnt. And something heavy. Okay. So at first prize, under 30 seconds, we'll get a skill. Hmm. Alright. Too bad about the armada. But at least one of those mortars survived. Was it? That's right, Rux. Mortars are the cornerstone of the foundation of our building. That is the bastion. I don't know, brick and mortar? Eh. Anyway, if you like this video, dear viewer, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Have a good day.